Oh, that's right, there's one thing I forgot. The cooler that I'm using requires me to uh, put some standoffs. I'll show you. Put some standoffs right here. And screw them in from the back. So I put the motherboard on too early. I'm taking it off again now so I can put these standoffs. But I'm not going to get too deep into how I put the cooler on. It's just... It's beyond the scope of this video. Alright, now I'm going to install processors. Um, you go right here. Lift, uh, lift this up. back plate off. You don't want to touch those, you want to be really careful. You only go in here one way. These little notches that you want to put. Just put that little latch down. Swing the little door shut. Just like that. Take the next one. Find the little notch. Put it in there. Put the door on. Close the little latch. And that's the CPUs. Okay, now I'm going to put in the RAM. Uh, just open the two slots. And, um, they only go in one way. There's a little notch here that you want to line up. You put them in. You want to put them in straight. Make sure they're in the slots. Press them straight down firmly until they click into place. Again, same deal on the other one. It's uh, 8 gigs of DDR2. Okay, now it's time to do Bomb. Just kidding. <laughs> That's the grease uh, for the, the North Bridge. Comes in this little syringe. I'm just going to swirl it on there. North Bridge. Thing. It's a cooling element on top of the CPU. Put the brackets on. Like so, take these bolts and put them in one at a time. But I'm not going to screw them in all the way, all one at a time. I'm just going to put them in. Bit, and then screw them one turn at a time each. Swing them in alternately. These are cooling system is 
installed. And now I'm going to install the video card. It's a PCI Express slot. Just take it. That in the slot. Push it down gently, firmly. And put the screws back in. And once we get the power supply in, we're going to have to plug the. It has a power. We'll plug in from the power supply. Okay, now I'm going to install the DVD ROM and the DVD writer disk. Um, on the back of these, um, these happen to be an SATA uh, connection, and um, that I'm, you just plug in the back, like that, and the other one is for the power supply, or for the power to this thing. So, in this particular uh, case, um, all that's required to install is just to push this little button. Holds it right in there. <laughs> really slick. Push it in there, and it's uh, like that. And then this um, this cord plugs into the motherboard. It's the data cable plugs into the motherboard, just like the hard drives, regular hard drives. Now, I installed the, the power to the motherboard right here, which comes from the power supply. And this also, these also um, install plug into the motherboard. Uh, right up at the top here. And this one here plugs into the graphics card. Again, it can only, it's only one way. It doesn't go in, it doesn't belong there. <laughs> okay, and this is a SATA power supply plug. I'm going to route it through the back to plug into the hard drives. And this is what they call a modular power supply, so. You only use the, the, um, the quartz that you need. Okay, so this is uh, this is the end of the video. Um, unfortunately, my battery ran out last night, but um, I finished it up today. And uh, this is the completed machine. Um, I went through and cleaned it all up and got all the wires nice and neat. It took me about an hour to, to really clean it all up. But I'll just go through and point out everything that I did. Um, I installed this uh, power, this um, cooling system. It's a water cooling system. It goes to this one CPU one, CPU two, and it goes to the chipset. This machine is an 8-core machine. It has two quad-core processors. One's right here, the other's right here. It has uh, 8 gigs of RAM, two sticks of 4 gigs. It has an NVIDIA Quattro FX 4600, I believe, uh, workstation card. It's not for gaming, um, although it works for that. Um, I installed the power supply here, and um, the hard drives are right here. And um, I installed that. Check that out, huh? Batty. I installed this uh, DVD ROM Blu ray and regular DVD ROM. And on the 
back, I had to cut this out for this uh, um, thing to work. And uh, here's the back where I routed all the all the wires and made it all really nice and neat. And uh, yeah, that's an eight-core machine. Pretty sick, huh?